reflect on the season you guys have had? I know you're not done yet, but being 13 and 0 and just what a great season it's been. Can, can you reflect on it? Well, I, you know, I don't like reflecting on anything until it's over. Right. You know, uh, reflecting is done when you're done. You know, and we've got more to go. And uh, it's been great, though. It's been great. We have a great group of players, great young men, great character. Then have goals of being the best in South America. And we have a coaching staff that works to try to be the best they can be and help these kids to become the best they can be. So it's really fun going into work every day. And uh, I mean, it's been good. I know you're a humble guy. So it's going to be tough to ask you this question, but Ohio State finished like 72nd in the country in total defense last year. Now you guys are an elite defense. How much pride do you take personally in that? I know it's the players and the rest of the coaches and, and you, but you personally, how much pride do you take? I mean, that is one of the best jumps I've ever seen from one year to the next from a defense. Yeah, I take pride in anything you work with. You know, I mean, anytime you're connected with something and it's successful, you take pride in it. But, but I, I will be honest with you, it, it's all about the players and it's all about the other coaches. You can't do it by yourself, not in this game. So it's a team deal. And then what happened is this team decided to come together and do what we asked them to do. Coaches, players, everybody. And we were fortunate enough to have success. But like I said again, we're not done. Right. You know, we're not done. And now we got to keep going. When Coach Day called you and wanted to, do your, wanted to bring you on his staff, what was that conversation like? You don't have to give me too many secrets, but what was that like for you? Well, one thing I always respect is Coach Day. Uh, Coach Day was uh, with us in Florida. Yeah. Uh, uh, I always knew he was one of those guys that's going to be really successful, even when he was young. And he was younger than I was. And I go, man, this guy's moving up the ladder. And, and then when he called, I went, you know, I, you know the, the coaches on the staff here, Mickey Marotti and I are really, really close. We had coached together at two different schools. I said, yeah, I want to do this. And my wife was all for it, my family, so it was great. That's awesome. Well, everybody's happy to have you, that's for sure. Um, the talent on this defense, you know, Chase Young, obviously, is, is the guy that gets the most puppet. I mean, the whole defensive line's loaded. You guys seem to have excellent depth. It just seems like a lot of talent and depth on that defense. Well, I, we, you know, the great news is there's been great leadership by the ones that are playing the most. And, and like I see it, like an example would be Zach Harrison. I see Zach every day get better. I see Tyreek Smith every day get better. You go right down the line, the linebackers, every day they get better. Well, they're playing behind good players. And when I, we as coaches set the bar where it has to be, then the other one's got to get up to that. And, uh, and that's what's been good. You and Coach Halfley seem to work so well together. He's one and done. He's like the uh, he's like a basketball player, one and done. Uh, but uh, you'll have a, a new guy to work with. What's that? What's that like in your mind? Having a kind of code. You're the defensive coordinator, but also having a co-defensive coordinator that you work closely with. I, I have confidence that Coach Dave will bring in the right guy. Yeah. And he knows what we want. We all want to do what he wants. So it, I'm not worried about it. One bit. No. I, 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 he's proven he can put together a hell of a coaching staff, right? That's right. Um, Clemson's offense, I'm sure a lot stands out about them. What what would you say stands out the most about Clemson's offense? Well, I think they're a great offense. I, they, they've got a quarterback that's a big-time quarterback that can throw it. You, they've got receivers that catch everything, and they've got a great running back. I mean, so that's an offense. You know, and, uh, it's going to be a great challenge. How, last thing, how important was the break for you guys? You guys had that gauntlet where you're playing Penn State. Michigan, Wisconsin, and then you finally get that break. How, how important was that, Coach? Really important. Yeah. I, you know, you can see it in the first half of the you know, Wisconsin game somewhat, and uh, that's not acceptable, but you can see it, and uh, they needed a break. And, and I'm excited to see what we do now.